Hey everyone, new topic for Ryan on Gaming. This comes from Will Carson. He says, Ryan, I know I haven't commented a lot lately, but I enjoy the videos. A topic I came up with is, if you were the lead designer of a game, what would it be? Things like genre, setting, story, gameplay elements, and maybe even trophies. Anyways, keep up the good work and stay rad. Will, thank you so much. I do try to stay rad, and I uh, know you do watch the video. You've been watching the videos for a long time. It's okay if you don't comment every once in a while, but, uh, you know, I appreciate it. Anyway, uh, I like this one a lot. Now, here's the thing, Will. I don't know you personally. I don't know if you are a big major investor, have lots of money, or work for a developer or publisher. So you're not going to get my complete total idea, but you will get a general sense of what I would do. Um, and the funny thing is, I mean, this is something that I was, I've been thinking about for a very long time. So this is absolutely a very good question for me because when I was a kid and I started to fall in love with games initially, you know, as you're, when you're a kid and you fall in love with something, it's like, Ooh, this is what I want to do for the rest of my life. So initially, absolutely. When I was a kid, I was like, I want to make games when I grow up. Um, further on when I grew up and I you know, started to learn that video game development takes, you know, like a lot of certain skills that I didn't want to go to school for and didn't really care passionate about. I just wanted to, you know, literally be the guy that makes decisions, which is something you typically work your way up to in the games industry. Or, you know, maybe you could be a writer or something. So you just would start a writing position and, and write the story or something that way. But, but basically the, the position I wanted to be in was something that ideally I would probably never find myself in. But for the longest time, I absolutely did have this like game in my head where I was like pretty much building it, and it was like this is what I would do um, if I built a game, and if, if I made a game, and I made all the decisions, and I was the head of a developer, and I had a talented team to do something. So basically, this is a general sense of what I would do if I were to design my own game. Um, so basically, my game would be uh, fantasy, more or less. So it wouldn't be realistic in any sort of major meaningful terms. It would be fantasy in, in the idea of like. Uh, the world would be completely made up, um, you know, items, what you'd call certain places, districts, people, like everything, right? Like, uh, like the, the, the species of people in my game would be a certain thing. Um, you know, like I, it, it would be fantasy. It would be completely made up in a sense. Um, in terms of gameplay mechanics and how the game would actually play, um, if, think of kind of like, it would actually be pretty standard gameplay, I guess. There'd be, there'd be nothing certainly crazy about it. Think of like, like, take like the standard cover mechanics and shooting mechanics of Uncharted, right? Not, like, those mechanics are nothing to certainly write home about, write off about. They're not amazing, but they work, right? And that's more, like, I guess that's what's most important to me. I wouldn't necessarily try to make the game um, drastically different just for the sake of being drastically different. I want mechanics that would work. That's something that works. So, basically, co like, cover and shooting mechanics of Uncharted would work great for me. I'd take something like that. I would include maybe a sprinting, sprinting mechanic or something, which, of course, Uncharted doesn't have. Um, so I'd have those basic shooting layouts, but because my game is fantasy, I would have shooting and I would also have, um, something like, say, Bioshock with plasmids, you know, shooting fire, shooting ice, shooting bees out of your palm. So I'd, I would have, um, fantasy type things like that incorporated with shooting mechanics. So not only would I have the moving around of Uncharted and shooting, I would have, you know, say an, an, an arsenal in the, in the game that would also allow you to shoot things like that. Um, whether it's short range, long range, I would want a varying amount of things that you could do. Um, uh, in terms of like linearity, I would actually prefer the game to be open world. So it'd be a fantasy open fantasy open world game with Uncharted mechanics, Bioshock uh, mechanics, kind of again, kind of like to get it in your into your head, right? Um, I, basically, what I'm kind of getting at is like I would take all my favorite things from all my favorite games and I put it into one game. Um, another th one of my favorite games, of course, Pokemon. Um, and this also kind of comes from Final Fantasy. My The world in my game would be very much so built with monsters. So <clears throat> the enemies in the game would not only range from, you know, human NPCs, but to monster and beast type NPCs. So anything from small little bird type creatures to, bi you know, bigger, say, dog like creatures to oversized, I don't know pig-like creatures to oversight like super large way bigger than you dragon wolf type creatures you know what i'm saying like again it goes into the fantasy thing i would totally have that and when i say it, like pokemon i say it in this in, in the veins of like they would be completely spread out throughout the world um you could run into them naturally you can fight them naturally you can run away from them naturally it wouldn't be like pokemon in a sense where you don't see them at all and then the, the game kind of breaks 
like, well, not breaks. The game kind of, like, freezes for a second and takes you off screen into a different environment where you're fighting them isolated. Like, random, you know, RNG, like, a random number generator sort of environment where you're, you know, running into them in isolated situations. So that's always, like, again, that kind of goes into, like, Pokemon of Final Fantasy. It wouldn't be that. You'd naturally run into them, say, like, uh, Oblivion, Skyrim, Witcher, all that shit. You know, you'd naturally run into them. Um, what else did you say? Um... Just trying to cover all my bases here. Um, yeah, I do a little something like that. Story, I guess. Um, uh, I do want a male protagonist. More important, more specifically, because uh, I do want to tell a love story from a male perspective. It would have a romance option, but that wouldn't. It would. It would have a romance um, side to it, but I would want a more overarching theme to be. Um, something else. So it would certainly, I guess that's very cliche and typical, um, standard trope, I guess. There's a lot of stories that have a male protagonist where there's a romance to it, but there's like a bigger theme to it as well. But that is kind of like the approach that I would like to take it. Um, I'd have a lot of side characters. Uh, I'd have a lot of character. I'd have more closely knit characters where the, the, the bot, like the, the development would be closer there. You'd, You'd, um, you know, build stronger relations in terms of, like, you know, because it's an open world game, you know, would there be lots of talking options? Would there be, say, um, dialogue options and things like that? I think in that sense, I'd want it to be more linear. I wouldn't want to be... I want. I wouldn't want it to be too crazy in terms of like varying paths and stuff. And and certainly, I, I you know I don't think I'd opt for like dialogue options or something. I think with that, I'd want to keep it linear. Um, I want most people to go through like everything and and, and every player to kind of reach the same um, the same ending. I want every pl player to see the same com to to experience the same conversation that I want the game to to set forth. So. I don't want there to be a situation where the player could possibly miss something or or not choose um, a right si situation of, of the message I'm trying to convey in my game. So I'd keep it linear in that sense. Um, overall, it, it, I kind of take, again, a little bit of everything and stick it into that way. In terms of how it would look, um, I, it would be hard to explain that, basically. I've got it in my head, and I'm sure at this point, if you're watching the video and you're keeping along, you've got an idea in your head as well of what it kind of looks like. Um, and I'll just leave it at that. It'd be kind of hard to explain my my thing of it to you, but um, and that would probably get a little bit more too detailed than what, than I, what, what I'd like. Even though I'm probably never going to be able to ever make this video game, um, that's kind of in a sense what I do. Of course, I would want this to be a super big budget, graphically intensive game where it's beautiful, and I had say Naughty Dog or Rockstar to help me make this game, but that's uh, certainly not the reality. Um, but that's kind of how I do it. And you said trophies too. I want my trophies to be um, no missable trophies. Um, I want it to take a decent amount of time, but a fair amount of time too. Um, no trophy that drags itself out too much. No trophy that um, makes you want to kill yourself. You know, I've done so much trophy hunting to the point where I know what I'd want in it. Want in it. No missable trophies. Um, a fair amount of time. Nothing that. I basically, I want every single trophy to be fun. I wouldn't want any trophy to be overly difficult. I want them to be challenging, but I don't want them to be to the point where it makes you frustrated. Um, that's pretty much it. That's kind of the game I design, and and this is a perfect topic for comments because this certainly encourages lots of conversation. Post what you do in the comments, and uh, I want to hear it. I don't, I don't, I don't want to read them, and, and more importantly, Will, I know you're not commenting as much lately, and I don't know if you're watching as much recently, but if you do see your topic uploaded, if you do, I'm still watching everything, let me know what yours would be too because you actually submitted the topic, and I want your perspective on this as well, um, and I'll, as always, keep submitting topics because if you don't, uh, I'll come, go to your house and murder you. That's just the way it is. I'm sorry, so if you want to stay alive and if you value the, um, the very thing of life, then please give me a topic, and I'd really appreciate that. Uh, anyway, that's about it for this video, and I'll see you all in my next one. Take it easy.